In this tutorial, we're going to make a slideshow using 280slides.com. Once we enter the editor, we're going to choose um, to create a new presentation. And there's several choices. And we'll stick with the starry background. Click OK. And before we start our presentation, I want to show you how to create an account. All you have to do is go to the top and click Save. Give your document a name. This will be our trends document. And this is going to prompt us to join. So we're going to click register, enter our email and a password. And confirm that password. Make sure you're using a password that's different than your regular email password just for safety. And we're going to register and click OK. So now we're registered which is going to allow us to save our presentations. This is going to be our trends presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and double click and add the title trends. And as you can see this editor is very much so like a PowerPoint. You can move boxes around, you can resize them, you can come to the top here and change the font choice, as well as the color and the size, etc. So to change the text, you just double click, Mrs. Price, 2011. To add a new slide, at the top left corner you click New, and I'm going to show you how to add some pictures here. So our first trend that we're going to talk about is going to be headbands. And I'll add some text. Girls are wearing headbands to keep their hair off their face while also making a fashion statement. And I'm going to resize this box and then insert a picture. The cool thing about 280 slides is that you can search Google and Flickr images inside of the program. So once you click this picture button, this browser is going to pop up and I'm just going to search for headbands <coughs> and push enter. You can also have a choice to upload your own headband by clicking the upload button. But I'm going to use Google Images or Flickr. I like this picture, so I just double click it and out it pops onto my screen. I'll go ahead and pick one more. Let's do this one. And then once we close the media browser, we can go back into these pictures and resize them by dragging the corners. We can also turn them to make them fit better. And that's the basic way to add slides. When you're doing your project, you're going to add at least three slides to talk about three trends. Something else I wanted to mention is to change the text color, you just select the text and come up here to this color box and you can choose blue or green or whatever your fancy is. You can also add shapes if you want a background shape, just double click it. You can change the color of that shape and you can change the opacity also, which makes it more see-through. So if I wanted to kind of put a spotlight on this image, I could go like that. Um, the last thing that I want to show you is how to add text. You click this A and a text box will appear. Again, you just double click to change the text look here and we can move that onto our spotlight all right now I'm going to save and all I have to do is click the save button because we've already given this a title of trends and you can see that at the top in the next video I'm going to show you how to share this or embed it in your blog